I like to sing. Oh, I, I, I love music. It, it, music is in my blood <laughs> all the time. The only thing I think is to sing. Even if I'm sad, if I sing, I, I just forget everything. It's, it's another sort of belonging, belonging and being part of something, something exciting, something amazing, something great. Music is like a therapy to me. When you are in a choir, like our choir, you start to forget about your problems or your experiences because now you, you, you are in that moment of happiness, that joy. Living in IY, living in IY, it's it's not easy. <laughs> I live in a shack. I do not have running water inside the house. It's a challenge living there because then just the basics we do not have. It's very hard on me as a parent as well that I cannot provide some kind of safety for my daughter. But it is not easy, but we live because we don't have another choice or we don't have place to go or we don't have much to, to look for the better places. It's not easy. In Mizamoyetu sometimes our shack just bent out into ashes and then after we don't have nothing. It is tough to live here, but it is also like you, you see people have potential and people want to grow in life, but it's so hard for them to grow because some of them lose hope because they don't know like what's next or is it really is my life really going to change am i really going to get where i want to be having to have a small house a house maybe that may have one room or two rooms sharing with your own with your whole family that also becomes very difficult especially when you're living with shacks when it's summertime, it gets too hot, and when it's winter time, it gets too cold. Sometimes it's leaking, sometimes there's water coming under your bed. Sometimes you have to put a bucket on top of your bed because there's a leak that is coming through. You try by all means, but all those things that are happening, not to put you down and to work hard so that maybe one day you can be the one that will change the whole situation at home and maybe for the entire community. To be in the choir, like, it helps me a lot, a lot, because now and again we have some money from the choir, like when we go and perform somewhere, I'm coming with something to my kids. As time goes on, they, the choir can take me in the place whereby I did not manage to do it by myself. It feels so great having the audience watching you, giving the applause. I have never thought that I would belong in such a powerful and vibrant and a, and a choir like you out being on my choir. But it's happening and sometimes I'm like I'm dreaming. We have got a lot to offer and I would love everyone to see what we can do. It would be very nice. Ever since we started um, at the choir we've had um, people that have been supporting us that come from the um, community as well and people are like what you're doing is really good you guys should you know keep it up sometimes we have concerts here in the community and people really come and support and they love us I think people are really seeing and learning from from the choir as well the African communities have got such a passion and talent for singing and it really brings the different communities together 
One of the problems of South Africa is that still, you know, many years after the end of apartheid, many of the communities are, um, are still very separate and people don't really mix very much. Running this choir is a really good chance because music is so universal. It's a great chance to bring the white community and the black community together in a way that's on, on the African community's terms, if you like. They're the ones who are owning the room. They're the ones who have this talent that actually the audiences are normally kind of in great admiration and awe of. If you help people at the individual level in a community like Imazamayetu, then everybody benefits. And everybody in that township, in any township, who succeeds and gets out and does something that they can be proud of is an inspiration to everybody else who lives here.